Well, praise the Lord, my friends. Here we are. We are back again. This is take two. Bam, bam. I definitely feel better overall. And uh, I'm excited to release this word over you, to talk to you, to share the word of the Lord over your life. Amen. Let me know where you're watching from, my friends. It's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. I hope you've missed me. I've missed you. I miss being in this chair in the seat <laughs> in this warm studio but god is good amen god is good it's been a wonderful day uh, a lot of progress a lot of good things taking place praise god let me know where you're watching from so i could give you some shout outs and say hello praise the lord this is dr pastor bellum today i want to talk about faces like flint i really believe that god's anointing us with a resilience with a backbone, which is the word of God. He's anointing his children, his people, so that we will not back down, but we will continue to advance forward. Because the kingdom advances by those who take it by force. And uh, I think it's interesting because I tried ministering this about six hours ago now, uh, but uh, there were some issues, technical difficulties, so I was not able to do so. But that was right around the time where President Trump, Donald J. Trump, was convicted as guilty. So obviously there's something in the air right now. There's warfare, there's pushback. But who you know is that the Lord's going to release great glory, breakthrough, redemption, and vindication. Recompense. Can I get an amen? So uh, I'm believing that as we push and press through, the spirit of the Lord is going to release payback and recompense over your life. Can I get an amen? Well, people of God, let me know where you're watching from. I want to give you some shout outs here. Today, I want to talk about faces like Flint. And I'm happy to be with you. Amen. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard, we have the prophetic word of the month for the month of June. Wow, 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 wow. Bang, bang. Let me tell you, the month of June is going to be awesome. It kicks off, begins the summer of revival, a summer of harvest, miracle signs and wonders. So it's going to be an incredible three-month season of increase in the glory of God. So tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard, make sure you're on. I'm going to talk about the prophetic word of the month of June. Somebody say amen. And then right after that, tomorrow, I fly off to Arizona. I'm going to be ministering in Arizona uh, Saturday and Sunday. So if you're in the Arizona region, come and see me. Praise God. I would love to shake your hand, meet and greet you. We have Steve Swanson. He's going to be ministering with me. Hallelujah. Uh, Saturday evening, June 1st. Bam, bam. Let's kick off the month of June in the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let me know where you're watching from. Give some hearts and likes. I know uh, this is maybe an odd time, but also I know with all the, uh, you know, with everything going on with President Trump, I'm sure the social media algorithm is really trying to block and shadow ban, but the devil is a liar. We speak breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. All God's people say amen. Uh, Let me know where you're watching from so I can say hello. Glory be to God. And then I'm going to begin to talk to you today about the word that the Lord has placed on my spirit. Hallelujah. It's been a good few days being here at home. Glory be to God. Hello there, Marilyn. 
Cora from South Texas, bless you. Maurice, good to see you. That's right, Anthony Moreno. Obviously, Robertson, Israel. Sonia Cabre. Apache Junction, Arizona. God bless you. God bless Sacramento. Glendale, wonderful, down the street from me. Hi there, Tamika McCanns. Florida, God bless. California, Florida. Glory be to God. South Texas, wonderful. Let's continue to build up the room here. Give us some hearts and likes. Show the man of God some love here as we're about to jump into this word. I want to say faces like Flint. Say faces like Flint. Now, it's interesting because earlier this year, in the beginning of this year, I ministered in Flint, Michigan. And it was my first time ever going to Michigan State and even ministering in Michigan. Amen. But I ministered in a city called Flint, Michigan. And uh, wonderful. Good to see many California people here. Sabrina. Yes. Hi there, Jennifer Moore. Downey. Wonderful, wonderful. But I ministered in Flint, Michigan. And uh, Flint and Detroit, they're pretty much the homes of the automobile industry in America and in the world. Uh, but of course, many jobs have moved out of Detroit, out of Flint, out of Michigan, and even in Flint, there was some kind of water issue, some water contamination. But the Lord, uh, you know, moved so powerfully when we were in Flint. So, well, praise God. Good to see you, Bill. Wow, we got a lot of Californians here so far. Vanessa, shalom, shalom. Well, praise God. Continue to give us some love. Tag somebody, share. Give us some hearts and likes. Amen. All right, well, let's go right into this. Hey, Brizzy B. Susan, you're in Brizzy. God bless. Well, let's go straight into this word. First and foremost, like I said earlier, we understand what's going on with President Trump. This is a sham. It's a fraud. It's a witch hunt. It's just everything is such a banana, goofy republic. And it's such a circus of clowns. But this is going to get appealed, repealed. It's going to be brought down as it goes higher into the Supreme Court. It's just a waste of time, a waste of tax dollars. And uh, what it's doing is it's uh, making President Trump stronger and greater. And, uh, you know, it's causing his victory to be even more sure. So I believe we declare, we decree, get ready for a great victory on November 5th, a landslide in the United States and in the nations of the earth. If you believe that, say amen. Hi there, Kalena. Good to see you. I hope to see you this weekend in Arizona. Well, lift up your hands. Father, bless your people. Thank you for the fire of God, the favor of heaven. From the top of the head to the sole of the feet. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. All of people say amen. Like I said earlier, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard, I'm going to be releasing a prophetic word for June. Wow, we're about to step into the halfway mark of 2024. Surely the glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. So I'm believing for a great second half and a second wind to hit your spirit as we step into the second half of 2024. All of God's people say amen. Well, I want to talk to you about this word, faces like Flint. Like I said earlier, I had the honor of ministering in Flint, Michigan earlier this year. But there's something about having our faces like Flint. Now, let's go to this word here. Praise the Lord. If you're with me today, say amen. Isaiah 50, verse 7. Isaiah 50, verse 7. And continue to help me to build up the room because I believe it's a weird time for me to be on, number one. But number two, I believe with all the stuff going on with Trump, there's probably a shadow ban or, or some trying to, you know, uh, uh, block the growth of this video. But here in Isaiah 50, verse 7, the Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Amen. I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. Let me read that again. But the Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. Somebody say amen. Now, this is a very interesting passage because the prophet Isaiah 
is declaring that uh, God, number one, is his helper. I want to say God is my helper. The Lord is his helper. And because God's our helper, he will not ever allow you to be put to shame or to be disgraced. Praise God. You will never be put to shame. In fact, he gives you double honor for all the years of shame that you've endured and experienced. So because God is our helper, he's a glory and the lifter of our head. Therefore, you will never be disgraced and you will never be put to shame. Therefore, see, therefore, therefore, because of that truth, are you hearing me? Because of that foundation, the prophet now says, because God's my helper and he never lets me be put to shame. Therefore, here is the result. Here is the production. Here's the fruit. Because God is my helper and he never lets me be disgraced or put to shame. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint. I have set my face like a flint. I want to say preach Dr. Ben. You see, the helper and confidence in the helper causes us to be like flint. That truth causes us to be like flint, not lint, like flint. Now, you might be asking, now, what is flint? Okay, now, flint is actually a stone. Okay, it is a rock. It is a stone. It is a rock. All right, and these stones or type of rock called flint is a very strong, sturdy type of stone. Now, the stone, even as I'm looking here in Google, this stone uh, was used for many things. An example, it was used for weapons. It was used for building uh, certain pillars, uh, certain constructing building uh, for certain building projects. So a flint is a type of rock, is a type of stone, right? So... Here, the Bible says, because God's my helper, I will never be disgraced. I will never be put to shame. Therefore, I have the confidence to be like a flint, to be like a rock. Now, I want to say I'm hard-headed. Come on. I want to say I'm stubborn. Who here knows that stubbornness for God is a blessing? Just ask Brother Peter, Apostle Peter. Apostle Peter was a stubborn Jewish man. He was a stubborn fisherman. And you know what? He was a man. You know what I'm saying? All right. He was a man, a fisherman, and he was a Jewish man. But guess what? Not from any area. He was kind of from the Podunk, Bogan, Hoagy area called Nazareth, called Galilee. Excuse me, called Galilee. And here's Peter. He was a stubborn man. He was thick-headed. He was hard-headed. But God uses hard-headedness for his glory. He uses stubbornness for his glory. Who you knows that we need to be stubborn for God? Okay? Stop being stubborn in yourself and in the flesh. But be stubborn for the things of God. What does that mean? That means that I'm not going to compromise on my values. I'm not going to compromise in biblical truths. Can I get an amen? I'm going to stand my ground and be stubborn for the truth for Jesus. Amen. I'm going to love you no matter what. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to be like Flint, hard-headed, stubborn, and God's going to use that for the glory of God. Look at Apostle Paul. Look at Apostle Peter. Can I get an amen? Here, the prophet Isaiah, in Isaiah 50, verse 7, says, The Lord helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced, Hallelujah. Therefore, I've set my face like a flint. Okay. Now, what that means, I've set my face like a flint. That means, yes, hard-headedness. Yes, thick scold. Yes, stubborn. But it means determined. It means focused. Now, let me talk to you here. I know there's been a lot of distractions. I know there's a lot of warfare. I know there's a lot of nonsense going on. But you need to learn to set your face like a flint. What does that mean? My face needs to be hard 
like a rock, like a stone, it means that you're unmovable. It means that you're unshakable. It means that you're not flustered. You're not easily flattered. You're not easily moved. Can I get an amen? When you say you're, set your face like flint, you are a warrior that's focused on the prize and on the goal. Can I get an amen? It means that you are focused, strong, dialed in like a prey that is being watched by its predator. Like a gazelle that the eyes of a lion are locked into. I want to say faces like Flint. Now I'm going somewhere with this. Now in Gilgal, Joshua chapter 6. Let's go over there. Amen. There was the circumcision of the flesh at Gilgal. Excuse me, Joshua chapter 9 verse 6. And they used, praise God, they use a flint knife. Okay, they use a flint knife. Joshua 5 verse 2. My gosh. Somebody say, preach Dr. Ben. Joshua 5 verse 2. The Lord said to Joshua, make flint knives specifically out of this stone, out of this rock. Make flint knives and circumcise the sons of Israel a second time. Someone say circumcision. Okay. Now that's a painful thing. That's a painful process, right? Now, of course, it's a sign of covenant. But it had to be a flint knife, this stone. Somebody say amen. And who you knows, hear me, before you go further, you must be consecrated or you must be circumcised. Before you cross over into the promised land, you must cut away the old and the flesh. Before you cross over, you must cut off the dead things of yesterday, of yesteryear. Some would say he's cutting it off. But specifically, the Lord says, make a flint knife. I feel the Lord right now. Make a flint knife. Now, why am I sharing this? Once again, I believe as our faces are like flint, it means that we're stepping into that covenantal anointing, that grace of covenant. It means you're about to cross over. Jesus. Mm -hmm. But you must use the flint, become like flint. Your face, your vision, your focus must be so determined. Amen. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. You must be so determined, convicted within oneself, convinced like faces of flint now let me talk a little bit more about faces like flint of course flint is a stone and is a rock and the lord wants us to have our game face on i want you to comment game face warrior face when one's face is like flint it means that you're not distracted you're dialed in your focus and you have your game face and your warrior face on. My friends, I believe right now in this season, God is saying, I'm gonna make, hear me now, I'm gonna make your face as hard as a rock and as sharp as a knife. I'm gonna cause the anointing that radiates out of your face, the glory that shine out of Moses' face, I'm going to cause that glory that shines out of your face to be as strong as a rock uh, and as sharp as a knife. I want you to comment breakthrough. There's breakthrough in the house here today in Jesus' name. There's breakthrough in this atmosphere, in this broadcast. If you believe it, say amen. I want to say cutthroat. You're going to be sharp. You're going to be cutthroat. You're going to be deadly. You are God's deadly weapon. You are God's secret weapon 
You are God's weapon of choice. But your gaze, your eyes, your focus must be sharp, must be determined and dialed in. Somebody say determined. Now let's talk real quick about this determination here. All right. Let's talk about determination. When you are determined, it means here in the dictionary, it says having made a firm decision. Oh, I like this. All right, let's determination. The definition of determination is having made a firm decision and being resolved not to change it. President Trump is absolutely determined. Many people are determined that President Trump won and he's going to win. Amen. 100%, 1,000%. So determination means firm decision and being resolved not to change it. So in this season, we need a de- determination. We need a resolve in our spirit, a firm decision. We need, hallelujah, an attitude where we're not going to give up. We're not going to be deterred. We're not going to be moved. The de- determination also means Stubborn, strong-willed, steadfast, Jesus, resolute, tenacious, tenacious. And I believe in this season, we need to have this determination. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to finish the race. I'm not going to let the devil steal my joy. I'm not going to let the enemy get me flustered and frustrated. I'm not going to allow the enemy to cause me to go into doubt and unbelief. No more pity party. No more soaking in myself. I'm not going to allow the enemy. Amen. The devil is a liar. I'm not going to allow the enemy to come into my realm, my space, my sphere again. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. And we need that type of resolve. That type of determination. And I believe in the second half of 2024, God's going to give it to you. Can I get amen? The Lord is going to give you that determination, conviction, that inner resolve that I will complete this no matter what. Not only is it my assignment, but the hand of God is upon me. He has anointed me to preach good news. He's anointed me, hallelujah, to get the job done. He's chosen me, he's anointed me, and I am determined with faces like flint because he's my helper and he will not let me, hallelujah, be put to shame. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. I want to say confidence. Do you have confidence in your calling? Do you have confidence in your calling or are you or are you wavering? Are you deterred? Are you shaken all over the place. Let me tell you, friends, faces like Flint, you are going to lead. Hear me now. You are going to encourage, inspire, and lead many people with that spirit of valor and courage. Somebody shout breakthrough. Faces like Flint. So once again, Flint is used many times for weapons, as you see here. As we read in Joshua 5, flint knife. Well, how about this? Flint is used for the tip of the spear or for the arrowhead. Somebody say hallelujah. You're about to break through. When your face is like flint, you are about to cut through, cutthroat, break through as a weapon. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. And the Lord chooses you and uses you for that purpose. It's called the break or anointing. Now, let me give you five. Five manifestations 
of having a face like Flint. Number one, it means that you're focused. God has given us determination, focus in this season. Such an undergirding girth that we are not going to stop until we see justice in America. We're not going to stop until we see justice over our lives or our families. Amen. Even for me to continue to preach right now, and the numbers are very low. That can mess with my mind, but I keep preaching ministry because I have to get this word out. Somebody say focus. There must be a focused determination. Hear me now. You're not going to get rich overnight. You're not going to gain a great harvest overnight. You must be determined step by step, day by day. Amen. Focus like a flint knife. Jesus, don't let the devil disqualify you, distract you. Don't let the enemy, hallelujah, lie to you, manipulate you. Stay in that race, stay in that place and be focused. Number two, to be, to have a face like Flint, it means that you are sharp. I want to say sharp. My gosh, there is a sharpening anointing. The Lord is sharpening the church right now. If you are going to be the tip of the spear or the arrowhead, that means it's a piercing anointing. You're going to pierce. You're going to break through. You're going to pop the bubble, burst the bubble. You're going to tear through. So you must be sharp, not dull. Many of us, we become dull. We become tired. Estranged. Ah, but the Lord is sharpening you. Amen. Quickening you. To be sharp means to be effective. You're going to become even more effective in this season. Even more effective. Somebody say faces like Flint. My gosh. To be sharp means to be effective. Which means you get more done. Which means you get maximum results. Ah, number three. To have a face like Flint. It means that you are a weapon. I want to say weapon. When your face is like Flint, you become a weapon. You become an instrument of righteousness. Wow. Now, when you think about weapons, it's deadly, it's dangerous, and it's used for offense or defense. Now, you must become strong from the inside out to last in the battle of the Lord. There's too many casualties getting taken out. Because they are not strong like Flint. Because they are not strong like Flint. So therefore, you're not a weapon in battle. You're just a nuisance to the rest of the army. <laughs> ah. In order to be a weapon, you must be dialed in. You must be shaped, formed, and fashioned. Jesus. What does a weapon do? It's used to take out and take down the enemies. God's going to use you to take out every enemy. But you must become like Flint. From the word of God. From the inside out. Because he's my helper and I will never be put to shame. That gives me the confidence, the strength. To be strong, to be sharp. To be focused. To be God's weapon. Number four. To be like Flint. It means you are strong and stubborn like a rock. Strong and stubborn like a rock. Jesus. 
Get ready to win the battle. You're going to win the battle. I said, you're going to win the battle. Jesus. Some of you might say, Does, you ladies watching, why do I want my face to be like Flynn? I want my face to be feminine, to be inviting, to be beautiful, to be pretty. Listen, friends, it's a cold, cold world. And just like a mama bear is about to go ham on somebody or something that attacks her cubs. That's the same spirit of strength and stubbornness that resolve. I'm not going to give up until I get my kid back. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. I'm, I'm going to keep fighting and battling and praying and warring until I see the breakthrough. Is your face like flint? Or is your face like lint? We must be stubborn for the things of God. We must be stubborn for the things. Then God will use you. And number five. Flint is used to spark fires. To spark fires. Somebody say amen. I want to say I am a fire starter. I want to say I am a fire sparker. Wherever you go, ta, 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 you start and spark fires. Revival fires. Fires of love. Fires of miracles. Flint is used to spark fires. And the Lord's going to use you, amen, to spark fires. Fires of revival, extended revival, fires of outpouring. Faces like flint. You must set your face upon the things of God. You must set your face. Hallelujah. You're not going to stop till you see the breakthrough. You're not going to stop until you see the promised land. You're not going to stop until you see the glory of God. Is your face set like flint? <laughs> Here, Isaiah 50 in the NLT. Here, look at this. The Bible says, I have set my face like a stone. I have set my face like a stone. Well, how would you do that? Because you got to get your game face on. You got to get your warrior face on with your war paints. It's time for battle. It's time for war. And you must set, which means you must make the decision to be like, to come into this revelation that my face is like flint when it comes to the things of God. Somebody say amen. Listen, people of God, I hope this word blessed you. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to do the prophetic word of the month for June, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. Get ready to spark fires. Get ready to cut through. To cut off and away the old, the circumcision of the flesh. Jesus. Two. Get ready to be a weapon, to be focused, strong, and sharp. I pray that God will use you all the days of your life. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I love you. Make sure you like, you share, you follow. God bless.